I am relative. Time is relative. My bank account is relative. My family is relatives. It's true. <laughs> Click the link down below to follow my cameo where I will make a special video just for you. We can also message each other too. Link below. <laughs> my families are relatives. <sighs> I stand before you today, even though I sit because my cake will swell to inform my viewers of my truth because my truth matters. Because my money matters. My rights matter. This is matter. I am matter. I am matter. We are matter. Matter is mass, which is philosophy times gravity. Just take it away from disposities. When you multiply the energy and the force and you subtract its weight, you get time and relatives and they mix and they pour. And I have to say, Eight times eight is sixty-four. It's true. I must bring to your attention, fellow rugrats of the computer verse, that my ex-husband Orlin is coming to see me. He's coming. And he's here. I feel his presence surrounding me already. He's here. He is here. This tray is here. I can hear. We all hear. And it's not just me no longer. It's me plus another because one plus one is two. Because two is two, which means two, which means two. I went to the store. I bought two apples. I left both apples because they're too healthy. I know what has happened in my life because time is relatives. What is happening? Are we in control? Are we in a game? Am I swole or is it water? Is it fat? Is it weight of my bones? Because one time for Halloween, I sat on a cone. And I went down and it snapped and everybody laughed. And I went home and my brother said, get in the bath. Cause you stink, you smell, you, you smell like a corpse. And I just know that I stepped on his horse in a past life with Jasper and pumpkins galore. And when I said to my girlfriend, no more babies, no more. Cause she wants to feed and nurture the flowers. And I said to my servant, I have psychic powers. I see who you are. I know the dimension. When I will be in third grade, I'll get detention for being bad, for different and weird. And my first job, my boss, was a beard. 
He had a beard, a beard, not one that he trimmed. A woman he referred to as him and him, but it was a female and it was a secret let out. And when I saw him at the dance club, out and about, he had two boyfriends, Pippity Stockings and the Galore. And I was on the dance floor again some more. Orlin is coming back into my life. He's coming back into my life. This is my story. I'm not okay with it. I don't want to be back with Orlin. I don't like him. We're done with the poetry. <laughs> Today, we are eating Wingstop because I'm craving it. It's been a long week and I was being serious when I said time is relative. And everything matters. My rights, my purse, my money in the bank. Everything matters. And I am matter. I am matter. I am matter. We are matter. I'm eating Wingstop because I feel like it. Because I'm listening to my body. This is intuitive eating. I am intuitive, and my body said, you have been under eating, sir. You have not been eating enough carbohydrates, which is why you're tossing and turning at night. I keep eating so much, and last night I had ramen, and it gave me acid reflux, and I couldn't sleep. So I'm like, what's the point? What's the point? Ramen is carbs. Is it not? I think it is. And they should have put this in separate bags. So we got some fries. They have the best fries in the world. Wings. Wings. French fries. That's the French fry, right? Uh, 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 uh. One, two, three, one, two, yes. Cheese. 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 Ranch, ranch, ranch. That's my food pyramid for all the people who keep bugging the heck out of me. Ask me, are you on a diet? This is my diet. Don't like it? Close your eyes. <sighs> okay, so let's display this for all the people who care about my life. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I don't have the fork, but that's okay. We can use fingers. Can't we? Can, I think we can. So we have fries over here. Make it displayed for the people. Fries over here. Make it displayed for the people. The people love to see the french fries. Um, one of these. Um, yeah. This is red. Should I bright like a diamond? Let's just kind of pull this out, shall we? Okay. There we go. There we go, go. <sighs> ranch, the best ranch in the world. I'm eating my feelings tonight. And I'm proud of it. I am proud to be an American. Where at least I know. There's Pepto Bismol on the shelf. <sighs> yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll just tear it. I don't care if it looks up. I, sh I should have got scissors. So this is, I've never tried before. It's called their Buffalo Ranch fry something excuse me make that stand okay this looks really good and i think I, oh i have one more 
Oh. Oh, 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 okay. I was like, where's the hot? I almost, <laughs> almost forgot where it went. So. I love cheese. Da -da. I love cheese. Da -da. My new Walmart shot. Ew, this cheese is nasty. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, let me pull it out of the slide. Let me get a drink. I'll be right back. <sighs> My feelings. This, pla this place has the best ranch. It's my new comfort food. <clears throat> Cheers to a new beginning. Cheers to a new chapter. Are you ready? Are you people ready? Are you ready? I've waited. It's been five years. Hurry up. And I don't need attitude either. I'm gonna try these. These are brand new um, buffalo cheesy fries. If my fork would get some, Can you even see, you can't even see me. Um, hi. Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube, link below. <clears throat> Let's try. No, we're, we're just gonna take it and dip it. That's what I did last time. They're fries, why are they so good? They should not be this good. The ranch is especially, especially. <sighs> so, <clears throat> it's true. It's true. <clears throat> the tabloids are telling the truth this time. The paparazzi catching me out about the rumors are true. I'm here to let you know the rumors are true. And I know it's gonna come to a shock and a, a dismay, a disappointment from many of my subscribers. But you know what? It's my life and I have to do something about this. This is the new hot pepper. Mmm. This is the new pepper, uh, not hot pepper, hot, pepper, hot, pepper, hot lemon, <clears throat> hot lemon, and this is something lemon. I tried Wingstop for the first time <clears throat> two weeks ago on this channel, no, on my daily channel. I got the same thing because it was so good. These, I ordered by accident because I don't like dry, I only like wet. These are technically dry, but they're deep fried, they're full of oil, they have so much cheese powder all over them. They are so good. 
They're brand new on the Wingstop menu. <clears throat> These. It's lemon. Brand new. Le it tastes like lemon poppy seed bread if it was a chicken. And there's oil on the bottom. Oh my god. What? What about? Mm hmm. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse you. <clears throat> that is memorable. The other day, I literally just had. What was it? It was my first time trying it. What? Pre oh, it was the habit. <clears throat> and their new chicken tenders were like, they're fine. This is a flavorful crispy it tastes crispy look at all the oil it's so i don't even need sauce and these are the new <clears throat> um hickory bickory or the huckleberry huckleberry thing or something <clears throat> something hickory bickory barbecue Mm. It tastes smoky. I'm sorry. Why do people keep asking me to do Buffalo Wild Wings all of the time? <clears throat> Nick Akato, can you do Buffalo Wild Wings? Nick Akato, it's been two weeks since you did Buffalo Wild Wings. Nick Akato, do Buffalo Buffalo Wild Wings. Tastes like dog food mixed with rocks. Hard little pebbles, dingleberries, something. It's not good. This is juicy. It's flavorful, it tastes fresh. If it tastes freshly made. They're bigger in size, and they're not hard. It has an outer layer of a crispy deep fried, and the inner layer just melts in your mouth. I've never said that about Buffalo Wild Wings, ever, ever, <clears throat> ever. Have I? No. I'll be like, mmm, I like the Thai curry sauce. That's nice. Oh, I like this um, <clears throat> garlic parmesan sauce. But I've never complimented the actual chicken, ever. <clears throat> ever. And I've had, I've had buffalo wild wings in like 15 continents. <sighs> no. No. Yes. <clears throat> Man, this is good. Let's go back to this barbecue one. Oh my god. I'm eating my feelings. It tastes so good to eat my feelings. <clears throat> this is kind of spicy. This is a hot bubber, bubber, uh, barbecue. Ooh, <clears throat> I feel it in my chest. This is a spicy barbecue. It's spicier than this red one, I think. Hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> That's not. No, it's not. <clears throat> this sneaks up to you. I feel it in my chest. This is right away. I feel it in my mouth. I did not mean to order spicy today. Ooh, <clears throat> let's go back to these cheese fries. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm mentally preparing how I'm gonna deal with this. And so I'm eating my feelings. Okay, is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? I really have to cut my hair, it's so flippy floppy. <clears throat> it's out of control. This ranch though. Mm. 
<clears throat> oh, you're just gonna watch me eat? Wow, you're weird. So many flavors. Mm. My hands smell like rich people. I love being rich. You guys, I was watching <clears throat> Heather DeBro do like a house tour. I mean, it was just too much. It was too, I don't even know why I was watching it. Uh, oh, I know why. I was looking up other people from TV that come onto YouTube. A lot of reality stars end up doing it. <clears throat> so, anyways, I found her and I was watching her do like a house tour. I'm like, oh, this is cute. Oh. This is from our own YouTube channel. I thought... I was particular, she's so particular, I, my head hurt. I felt like I had to cleanse my space. <clears throat> and you know, it's all about politeness and orderly and courtesy and being well-spoken, but it's so rigid that it's uncomfortable. Her house, have you ever seen those like celebrity houses where their houses are so big they look like hotels? How do you feel at home in a space like that? I get, it's nice having tall ceilings. You know, 11 foot, 12 foot, that could be nice. I get it's nice having space to spread out. An extra room here and there. But, you know, when you have 14 bathrooms, I get you have kids. I grew up in a family of nine. We had a upstairs and a downstairs bathroom. And when I was a family of five or six, we had one bathroom. All of us. And it was in the hallway. Um, and you know, she, she was doing her little uh, interview or whatever. She's like, you know, well, I have a family of six, so we needed three washers and three dryers. I'm like, we had one and we were just fine. <laughs> oh my God. And you know, I get, you make your money, you spend on what you want. Totally and totally and by the, I don't like the idea of, oh, you've made money, you've earned it. You've worked hard for it. Maybe you even got. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't work hard for it. Maybe you got lucky. Won the lottery. That's fair. That's their money. It doesn't matter if it was gifted. Doesn't mean if someone died and they inherited it. Doesn't mean if they worked their butt off. You know, doing stuff. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they did. If it was a form of work that you don't think is work, people can do what they want with money, and I'm totally all about that. Um, like totally all about that. Totally all about that. Um, but. I think it's a personality thing with her that I'm really... <clears throat> okay, no one knows who I'm talking about, so never mind. I end up watching a bunch of her house tours. She has, like, house tour of my kids' rooms, which they got in an elevator because they were lazy. Half to her words, my kids are lazy, so they ended up by the elevators. Um, how <laughs> House tour of my office. House tour of my kitchen. House tour of my laundry room. You guys, that laundry room. What do you put? What do you put in there? Half of it, she did not show the cupboards. I think they were for show. Uh, that's a lot of trees. I, you know, I totally get <clears throat> spending money on what you want. It wasn't even about the house. So it was a gorgeous house. It was her, her, and it, it's so odd because I used to watch The Real Housewives. A lot of the different versions, the Beverly Hills ones. I liked Yolanda. I liked the lemons. I liked that she was all about greenery and natural. She did the master cleanse and um, she was all about like positive speaking and you know, trying to fall in love with your husband over and over. They end up getting a divorce, how ironic. But she, that was her thing, learning how to stay in love because let's face it, after a year, it's kind of like, next. And they're like, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be with this person. <clears throat> you know, she was all about, I, I liked her. And there's some pieces of, other women that I, I like this part of her personality or I like this, but most of them are just, <laughs> I say that respectfully, but it, it sounds very disrespectful. I just don't, I can't, I don't care for a lot of their personalities. And that's my opinion. I'm entitled to that. Um, because of the, um, 
just a lot of them are very uneducated. They're, these people, these women are not educated. They're uneducated. Again, you do what you want with money. What I liked differently about this woman, Heather Dubro, is that she seems more educated as Beth. Okay, there, some of the New York housewives were very smart. <clears throat> Bethany Frankel and her business with the skinny, skinny something. Um, some of them were very educated, worked hard in the restaurant business, Vanderpump and all that stuff. But then a lot of them were just like, they did it, they got money from doing very bad stuff. Uh, there's been three or four housewives that have gone to jail. I mean, this is not even their money to be, they're stealing and it's a lot of uneducated, just dumb, dumb stuff. Well, this Heather lady, she's different because she's well-spoken. She thinks before she speaks. She's all about manners and respect. Everything's very proper. She looks very neat. She speaks to people, blah, blah. I mean, I didn't watch all the episodes. I know one time someone like ate a piece of her cake and she made a big deal out of it. I get where she was coming from. Again, respect, following orderly rules, cleanliness, organization is a big thing. Look at her house. I get why it really bothers her, but at the end of the day, it's like, <clears throat> Okay, someone walked by and licked the, licked the cake. Let's, it's not, let's not throw all. But I get it was TV. They had to make a scene. Um, but even though she, out of so many of the other housewives, if you don't know who I'm talking about, that's okay. You can turn this off. She, um, again, she seems more educated. She seems more well-spoken. She seems like um, she knows more. Um, and even just like, she seems talented, like her design her house, she's not even an interior designer, her mom was, but she has the language that you would hear from a designer, she has the, um, she just seems like a skilled person, however, I'm very uncomfortable, I'm so uncomfortable, so uncomfortable, like the type of woman that's like, you, you knock one thing over and boom, like Judge Judy, kind of like, you're entertaining Judge Judy because you're a beep and you tell it like it is and you don't, you don't want to cross the line ever because she'll, she'll raise all the flames come up behind her like that scene from Elmo. <clears throat> um, and it's fun for, on our side, but I think like, do her, her kids get scared to death? Does she never show that? I, I just, there's something very scary about her. <clears throat> As I sit here and stuff my face with food. Um... And I ended up watching like a half hour worth of her house tours. Oddly enough, they're her most viewed videos. She's posting videos, they get 10,000 views, which is fine, you know, or actually she hasn't posted forever, but she posted her house tour and they, they all have millions, million, million. And I'm like, okay, this is not just her. Every YouTuber gotta show the house. People are nosy. People wanna see the house tour. <laughs> also her thumbnails for her house tour were better than uh, <clears throat> most of her others, but anyway. I watch them just like everyone else before you say, I'm, I'm, I'm a creepy, I'm like, I'm curious to see. You know, she brags about her house, like, cause she designed it. She spent years designing it and I wanted to see what it looked like. She was very proud of it. Everything had a purpose, everything had a thought. She's well-spoken, she's way more together mentally than a lot of these housewives. However, there's something so cold and uncomfortable about this lady. Maybe it's the way her eyes pop. I don't know if it's got pulled back too much. I don't know if it's like a physical thing. It's yes, a little bit. She's she's scary. She's like, she's like a woman Dracula. Like her eyebrows go. Those are her eyebrows. And her eyes are like. And um. And the way she speaks as well, it's kind of like everything is sharp when she speaks like this and you don't cross a line with her because she's smarter than you you know what i mean that type of personality i again a half hour went by i was watching these house tours and i literally turned off the tv i put on the tv and i turned it off and i'm like i need to like cleanse my space right now and what there's no fights there's no drama it was just her giving a house tour she made me so uncomfortable it's just like this cold um, and she tries to be funny. She, she's a great speaker. She says little things here. <clears throat> she says little he things here and there that, you know, she's trying to be relatable. She'll crack a joke. Um, but those were the vibes I picked. Those, that's just how the aura. Oh, I don't read auras, so I don't know. But anyway, that's what I did today.
got spooked by Dracula. Ooh, uh, 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 spook. Match. Up. On to another. Anyway. Uh, easily flustered is how I would describe her. Easily flustered. Kind, polite, respectful, orderly. Knows how things work. <clears throat> Seems pretty well educated. Again, from the little bit that I even know about her. Watch, she's probably been in some horrible scandal. I don't even know. <laughs> Everyone's in scandals, I don't know. But, easily flustered. I'm just like, I can never be, ooh, it's just like, ooh. Like, can I sit on your couch? Like, are you gonna like yell at me for sitting on it wrong? I mean, it was just like, ooh. I would love to be on a reality TV show, actually. Um, one of the producers of Big Brother reached out to me, but nothing happened. Last year, isn't that show over now? This is so good. Like, if you're on a diet, keep watching. Keep on watching. Oops, come back. Come back, Jack. Put that here. Put that here. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> this food is good. Do you think we're supposed to be with one person our whole life? I know many people are, but many people aren't. <clears throat> Back in the olden days, people did it because it was rare to leave your husband or your wife. <clears throat> it showed that you were weak, you were uncommitted. People um, did, they didn't have as much influence from social media or TV to tell them, hey, this person got divorced, you could get divorced too. It's okay, life will go on. <clears throat> people kind of like stuck it through which could be viewed in a good way or a bad way, depending on what's happening in the relationship. <clears throat> you know, there's some things are worth sticking through. It's up to the people, to the personality. Some people can handle a lot. Some people can't handle anything, which again, could be good or bad, depending on what we're talking about. <clears throat> you know, they say it's a 50-50 chance now in the United States. If you get to, if you get married, there's actually more than 50. It's like 58% chance you will not be with them to the day that you die. <clears throat> it might be up to 60% now. It's very common. Do you think that's reflective of human nature? People are becoming, A, more flexible with their religions in America. B, more irreligious. I'm spiritual. I'm agnostic. I'm atheist. I was raised Catholic, but it is what it is. You know, people in, in the Western societies are becoming more relaxed. Is a reflection of <clears throat> that or is this actually internal in nature and all those things I just mentioned society norms culture religion are the ones that were keeping us from being quote unquote how we're meant to be it's a question obviously there's families and stuff but if you look at other animals the animal kingdom there's some animals that create children children grow up and then those two move on and they do it again with other people uh, you know it's not like for life goodbye <clears throat> Some animals don't even have kids. <sighs> it's complex. I don't even know why I'm thinking about this. I think it's because, you know, Orlin. This is on my mind. You know, <clears throat> am I trying to force something that's not right? Or am I too weak? Am I trying to 
mold myself into a situation, an environment where I don't fit? Or is it the best thing I've ever had and I'm not looking at the big picture or I'm taking things too personally? Or, well, no, some of this stuff is very serious, but I go back in my cell, I go back and forth in my head. Like, is it me? Is it, is it me? Is it society? Am I doing the right thing? I, I always want to do the right thing. I do mean well for everybody on earth. I really do. Mm. Including the people who can't eat this right now. <laughs> Let me have a bite for you. Hey, I'm looking right at you. Hey! <clears throat> I'm going to give you my favorite one. Here we go. Get this out the way. Let's get one of these nice, crunchy, crispy. Oh my God. Let's get it a little greasy here at the bottom. Rub it around in there. Dip it in here. And this is for you. Oh my God. Ho, 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 ho. What was that? Oh. I should write a book called Five Million Emails a Day. <laughs> I'll look, I'll move, I'll look, move on, look, move on. <clears throat> ah, that was so, this is their best. Everyone needs to try this lemon. It's not the hot lemon. This is the hot lemon. The hot lemon's nice. It's just hot. But I had it last time. It's hotter than I... It's hot. Mmm. But it's so good. Oh! Lemon poppy seed bread with flames. Their chicken is great. I've never had Wingstop on the bone. And apparently they have chicken tenders. I've never tried their chicken tenders. We have to do more wing stop. This is my second wing stop. Um, I mean, I did it three, four years ago when I first started mukbangs. When I first quit being vegan, <clears throat> I got some wing stop. They were boneless. I weighed, you know, 150 pounds less than I do now. It was in Las Vegas, actually. And um, my body really enjoyed it. My body remembers. My insides, they remember. We remember. Never forget. Mm. <sighs> yeah, but I'm still so like... <clears throat> I was taken aback by those videos. I can't get it out of my head. Again, well, I just watched it before filming this. So obviously it's fresh on my mind. It's just so unrelatable. I've never met anyone that wealthy. Like, that's wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. And I feel like there's something else that had to happen. You don't make that type of money from doing being a doctor. <clears throat> they must have had investments or something. And that's fine. Again, it's, it's not... It's... It... I don't know. It's just like growing up with an elevator in your house. And it's so big, it echoes or there's 14 bathrooms to choose to like go in. <laughs> it's like, wow, it's just so different than us, you know. And she was so particular, so particular. It, and, I, and there's something to be said about organization and it, her house was beautiful, spotless. I just felt like I would get whipped if I moved one cookie out of the wrong jar or did it close something all the way like ooh, it was just oh it was a lot for me to watch <clears throat> I 
and I don't find the house was gorgeous. Actually, <clears throat> I was actually watching a lot of housewives' houses. Some of them are very ugly. Some are very outdated, or they're just like they're really proud of it, which is wonderful. But they kind of like boast about it in a way. And it's like, oh, honey, that's real. You sh sit down. Um, like, what was her name? Cherie. Cherie. What was her last name? Whit Whitland. Whiteland. Whitland. I think. W, she, Sheree W, she was from the Atlanta show. She did a house tour. There's a lot of rumors about her house. She never really owned it. She couldn't afford it. She did it to show off on the show. I don't know. The, you should never believe rumors, so I should perpetuate them. There's a lot of rumors about me that are not true. But <clears throat> what I did see with my own eyes was her house tour. This was, I remember this was like a year ago, and she, um, when I watched the video, but the episode took place. We're talking five, six, seven years. I used to watch these shows anyway. And um, I was watching it back because I was curious. And uh, she goes up to her living room and there's um, like a, a faux wood paneling on the wall. Like um, it's faux wood. It's just used as in place of drywall to kind of be de decorative. It was really big in the 70s and the 80s. Everyone had them in their basements. It was very common. And she was like, oh, and she touches it. She's like, have you ever seen wood on a wall? What is this? Oh, I did this. Oh, yes. You don't, you've never seen a house with this, honey. Oh, fabulous. And it's like, you have fake wood on the wall. That's literally my grandma had that in her house. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so funny. Uh, like ugly, that was, that was, I don't know, not my style. Not a lot of people's style anymore. A lot of people, when they do remodels, they, they, they take that out. <laughs> they take it out. Hers was done nicer, though, I have to say. It wasn't like by actual grandmas, where it was literally plas plastic that had like a, a, st a stencil of p whatever. Um, so Heather's house is definitely a lot nicer than Cherie's. Cherie's was just big. It was just gaudy. It was just like... Look what I can do, but it wasn't, it wasn't, Heather's is like a whole league of her own. I've never seen, that was a whole league of her own, league of the, whatever. Um, I don't know why I care so much, you guys. I haven't, I don't even own cable, first of all. I don't even own cable. I don't. I don't own cable. I have never paid for cable in my entire adult life. My parents had cable when I left the house at 18. It's the last time I had cable. I moved to New York, I moved to Guatemala, I lived in Mexico, I lived in Colombia, I lived all around the world, but when I was in New York and Florida, I've never paid for cable. Never. I would only watch, I watch, the last time I even watched The Housewives, like on TV, was um, in 2012 when I was house sitting. Many, many, many years ago. I was doing a little house sitting. I do that very often, lots of different houses. That was, that was like one of my jobs. Throw that on my resume <clears throat> for when YouTube fires me. <laughs> I'll watch your house. <laughs> I was house sitting, and um, and this the, these particular people's house, um, they were gone, and I was watching The Housewives because it was on TV. And this was 2012, 2013, 2011, somewhere around there, 2010. It was right when I first went to college, and that's when. I would watch a lot of these episodes because there's really nothing else that I liked watching. I like Project Runway. Loved America's Top Model. Um, and Judge Judy. Those were my shows. And Law and Order SVU. That's really it. That's all I really watched. Artsy stuff. Clothing. Well, what's Housewives? That's fights. Trash. Trash TV. <laughs> Trash. And that was the last time ever. And you know, I've seen clips on YouTube ever since, you know, here and there, but I don't even know why I'm talking about it. It's probably just because I just got done watching something, her house tours, and I was like, oh my god, what is this? And it, it's like my mind's going down memory lane. It's like, you used to like be involved in these TV shows back in the day. See, I'm like name dropping people's names, like clearly. I was into it to a degree. I was never a super fan or a stan. Or any yeah, of that type of stuff. Oh.
<sighs> I'm really not saying anything. Oh, somebody tweeted me, and they have a, they have a big following, whatever, <clears throat> bigger than me. Do they? I think so. Definitely on Twitter. And people are like, how could you support? He did this, this, this. He does this, this. He is this, this, this. Uh. And I'm thinking, like, you can like an aspect about someone, commenting them, collabing with them, meeting them. Doesn't mean you endorse every single thing they've ever done their whole entire life. It, really, it does not. <laughs> Just like the other day when people were coming for me because I liked something that wasn't should have been liked in terms of like, oh, I like this. Like, this brings me pleasure. Like, no, I liked it because I want to think of it to show someone else. Or I liked it because I liked it spread awareness. It was not a good thing to like. No one likes that it happened. Some people so people thought I liked it and they're thinking, they, they're telling themselves what they want to believe. Nick likes this. Nick's must be this. Nick must be this. It's like, I you don't know any back thinking of me pressing like and it's on my page it's for who knows what reason it, it, it it's literally it, it's not an endorsement of anything it really isn't and neither is this person who tweeted me and people are saying nick is a horrible person it's like um and <laughs> maybe i have it oh my gosh people have no brains i'm sleepy this was a hard day. I have... Hard day, hard life. This mukbang's boring, but thanks for hanging out with me. My mind's just really tired. Imagine having to listen to Orlin Holm on the phone. <clears throat> Imagine what, how much energy my body is giving up. My body's really giving up on me. It can't take it anymore. This is so good. Last one, because I love this. A big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video, and a bigger thank you to my new executive producer, Leslie Jeppesen. If you'd like to become a producer and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself a personalized video just for you. Or book a video for someone and surprise them. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. 
Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. Bye.